Hey guys, we're on our way to go change out a condenser fan motor on an ICP condenser. It's a 2021. A couple days ago, we replaced the furnace and the coil. I was outside pumping the refrigerant back into the outdoor unit. I pushed the contactor in and I noticed that the condenser fan motor didn't, wouldn't run. But I was, it was cold enough, you know, I was able to still pump it down with just the compressor running. <laughs> so I checked the capacitor. After I was done pumping it down, I killed the power and I checked the capacitor. Capacitor was good. I made sure I had proper voltage going across the contactor to the motor. I did. And uh, so I took my, one of my long extensions and I spun the blade and the bearings are just as stiff as could be. The motor's locked up. The customer didn't even know. She's like, well, it's a good thing I didn't run the air conditioning. I said, yeah, well, I said, you would have noticed. So we had to order the motor. That's why we're going back a couple days later. We got like three, three or four ICP supply houses here and none of them had the motor. So it had to be ordered, but we got it and we're headed over there to change that motor. Okay, here's our unit. Here's our unit. You see the brand new filter dryer I just put on there the other day. And if you take a look at these bearings, look at that. Oop, it hit my thing. Stiff as can be. Stiff, stiff. So we're going to open her up here. Put the zip tie here. This is my condenser motor. That's one of them. There's another zip tie. I'm gonna try not to cut that one. This is gonna be That's a jumper, so this is gonna be my other condenser motor right here. And then the brown. The capacitor is good. Okay. bearings are stiff. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go get my table. All right, I got my got my table with the new motor. You know, one thing I don't see a lot of you guys do is this right here. Y'all don't measure the blade. We'll measure it right here to the corner. That is five and a half inches. And that's pretty important to do there. A lot of, a lot of you guys just kind of guess and put them back wherever, but it's not really the best thing to do. You should measure it. No smooth part. I have to use channel locks. Come on. There we are. Those holes on that table sure make that nice. Too big. Nope. Oh. Huh. No, it is the brown one. Okay. Get the conduit off. And oh yeah, she's nice and stiff. Brand new. Plug, nope, plug's already gone. Okay. Go. 
Now, because this blade's only got so much smooth surface to play with, it's not that hard, but I'm gonna go ahead and measure it anyway. There it is, five and a half, right on the money. Once I get my set screw started, Oh, see, it fell on me. Now I gotta pull it back up. Okay. Okay, it's touching. Now let me get a crescent. Measure that again. Five and a half on the money. So now we'll tighten her down real good. And you can see that one spins that one spins much 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 more freely look at that okay let's reinstall this bad boy cabinet flip it over again uh oh okay they almost pulled out but they didn't there we go easy peasy take the brown one off nice when you got the OEM motor and of course this is warranty this is a 2021 condenser we changed out the gas furnace and coil the other day so she's all brand new now and we put in an ICP we matched it I'm pretty much back exclusive to ICP I don't like the changes that Ream made with their new sear 2 equipment So, I need to get a zip tie around that. Uh, let's see, uh, I wonder if I got any zip ties left in my bag. Yep, I do. I 
I see one thing I forgot to do. I forgot to run them through that other zip tie, but that's okay. I got another zip tie right here. I'll just do another one. There we are. Put the disconnect in and push the contactor in and that fan motor ought to run. There she is. She's running. The other one didn't do that. The other one just sat there all bound up. All right, guys, that was an easy little job. Put the screws back in the panel. table up and we're out of here All right, guys, I just got to finish cleaning up my mess. I got to pick up that old motor and all that and go turn it in for warranty, but I'm not going to make you guys watch all that. That ought to do it for this one. Easy little job. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate the support. I'm setting up a new uh, desk at my house. I just, to do my live streams, I don't like doing them at the office. I just don't feel like going to the office. We don't go to the office enough. And when we do go to the office, it's, we're usually doing work and I don't feel like streaming. But when I do feel like streaming, I'm always at home. So I'm setting me up a little desk at home again and I'll start doing some more live streams. But uh, thank you all for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.